Hi guys, this is the part one of uh, the finishing build of uh, the Sky Hero Spider 850. Uh, right now, I've laid out all the components that I will have to fit inside uh, here. And the first thing I see is that uh, it will be really tight to have everything in a, in a good position. Uh, first of all, I have this power board, uh, the Griffin power board, which is a very nice power board. Um, just got it uh, yesterday and uh, solid very good connections and uh, and the best thing best part about it uh, I, I wasn't aware of this but uh, this fits exactly in the holes here that's uh, pre-drilled from uh, Sky Hero so uh, for this fits exactly here and uh, and it seems like it's meant to to be on this aircraft very nice um, and um, that means that uh, the power uh, issue is no no issue. Uh, the wires for the batteries will come from on the side here from the batteries up this uh, hole, and uh, and will be uh, um, uh, soldered to the boards here and here and uh, here. Um, I think uh, yeah, the flight controller, not the flight controller. I also see some pre-drilled holes here, and I guess it's uh, I guess uh, the center of uh, uh, the aircraft is here. It has to be that, like that. So uh, I just gonna stick this on here with the double-sided uh, um, tape. And uh, yeah, as you know, it cannot be placed anywhere else, and on uh, than on the center of gravity on the aircraft. Uh, from there, I uh, have the uh, receiver and uh, the um, power regulator. Uh, this is uh, for regulating power. I'm going to use 4S on this uh, Sky Hero, and uh, I only need 11 to 12 volts on the uh, for the LED strips and the video uh, gimbal and and uh, video camera and things like that. So uh, this one. I have to place, uh, I guess, something like this. I don't know, really, I could probably try to mount it like this. Um, yeah. Maybe. And um, so we have the receiver. Uh, and uh, I guess it could be placed something like, yeah, somewhere like this. Okay, I have to move this on the side. Put it over here, I guess. Um, next one, the uh, PMU, NASA PMU. This is the um, yeah the power source for the uh, GPS and uh, the flight controller. And uh, and other things uh, like the um, IOSD and uh, and the BTU, which also is going to be on here. So I guess uh, this one just has to be mounted over there, like that. And uh, the BTU. Actually, I don't know if this one gets uh, hot, but I think it will. So I, I don't think it's a good idea to stack it up here. So uh, this uh, should be left alone, I think. And uh, then I will have to put the IOSD up here, like this, I guess. And the BTU is uh, really small, so I can just uh, like... Uh, Glue it up here or up here or something like that. I think I'll take that uh, at the end after all the other things are all in, on its in its place. Um, I also have the video switch. Uh, I'm gonna use at least two cameras on this model. So um, let me see if we can focus a little bit better. 
Um, okay, this is a video camera, and uh, the video signal uh, will uh, come in from two or three, cam three cameras here and go out to, to the video transmitter. And the uh, video transmitter is going to be placed in the back here, I think now for now. And uh, the best thing is to have it like uh, an easy way to to route the wires. So I guess I'll put it over here. Not that I have so much uh, space left to to consider really that, but uh, I guess it will be there. Um, then I have this uh, power switch. Uh, this is a power switch which which uh, switches power on and off. Uh, it can take yeah, 30 volts, and I'm gonna use that one to um, switch on and off the uh, the LED strips. Uh, yeah, so um, yeah, maybe maybe I place it up here or in here or maybe on the side there. I don't know. This is so small. That's no problem. Okay, last I have this one. This take no place. This is uh, a, uh, an alarm, which uh, can be used for finding the aircraft if you lose if you lose it. This is uh, put on one of the the cables here to the um, from the uh, uh, receiver to the uh, to the flight controller, and this will make a sound if there's no. Uh, uh, no signal going from here to this one uh, after one minute within one minute after one minute this buses so it's I think it's a good thing I'm gonna use other safety uh, equipment too I'm gonna use a GPS tracker and uh, uh, and I also have uh, uh, other things I'm gonna show you later um, which is going to be mounted on top, so it will be possible to find it if you lose it in the in the woods or something like that. But this one just, uh, I guess, I can glue on top here or something like that. Okay, uh, this is getting interesting, and I'm uh, looking forward to have this in place. And uh, there's going to be a pretty much wiring right now. First of all, I'm going to uh, solder the. Um, the uh, speed controllers in the arms. I'm going to use this Turnigy pl Plush 30 amps, two of them uh, in each arm because I have two motors, and uh, just so that uh, it don't get overheated, I will mount one here in the rear of the arm and one in the front of the arm. Also going to do that on the other front arms. They will be a little bit closer, but uh, there's plenty of space, so that's no no problem. So yeah, that's for now. Thanks for watching.